So before getting into Google Classroom, uh, we all have schedule with us, the timetable schedule. I will just take, uh, show you. Yeah, so I think everyone have received the schedule timetable uh, via your email. Uh, please let us know if you have not received, we will send resend you the email. So uh, we can see in this uh, schedule, we have the courses, the instructor and Google class code. So the Google class code that we can see in the right side, these are the class code that we have to enter in Google Classroom to join the classes. So we have to enter all the class code for each classroom. So those who are in first year, please enter all these classrooms. Those who are in second year, please follow the second year class schedule and join the class with this class codes and those who are in third year they can join uh, using this class codes so let's get into google classroom so i hope uh, everyone knows browser those who are using google browser or Mozilla browser or Internet Explorer. Let we open our Google browser. So firstly, we have to open our browser and we have to enter classroom.google.com. Uh, I can repeat it, classroom.google.com. We can see uh, the Google Classroom dashboard. Down there, we have something called sign in to classroom. We can click on sign into classroom. Then we use the Gmail ID. We make sure we use the same Gmail ID throughout the semester till the end of the uh, courses. So let me get into my uh, Gmail ID. So the same process you can follow. You can log into your Gmail ID and give the password. Go through the all, all the verification that required for the to sign in into Google Classroom.
Yeah. So I have uh, done all my um, Google Class uh, Gmail check-in. Yeah. Um, I'll come into that. So firstly, before the class code, we have to get into the G, uh, your Gmail like Gmail ID, and you will be able to see something like this: classroom page, classroom dashboard. So right now you might have only main Audi. Uh, then we have to enter the class codes for each classes by joining the class. So uh, can you see the plus on the right side? Uh, there is something called join class. You have to click on join class and down there it is class code so this class code uh, here you have to use the class code that we had shared with you in the schedule so for now we have created one instance a test uh, google classroom code so i will just enter uh, the demo class code and i will show you So now you can enter the class code uh, WH35small. Please type WH35KTL. I hope online students also following along with me. And now join the class. Click on join the class. So here we go, we are in the class. So this is, we have entered only one classroom. Likewise, we have other seven or eight courses. So when we enter our course, we can see three tabs here, stream, classwork, and people. So stream where we can see all the announcement, the current announcement and the notifications. So whenever any videos will be uploaded or any notes will be uploaded, you will get the notification in stream page. And uh, also we will receive the meet link also. Uh, if you see in this page, at the second, Every, uh, before the class, we will post one meet link in the stream page. So before the class, you have to come to the dashboard to check uh, what is our meet link. I think everyone are clear with the uh, stream page. Yes. Yes, the meet link is different from the class code. So the class code we use to enter into the courses, to register, uh, sorry, enroll into the courses. And the meet, meet link that we get it uh, for the classes, regular classes. Yes. Sorry, class code um, is for this. Okay. Yeah, WH three five KTL.
Okay, so uh, I think everyone are clear with stream page. Okay, then we come to classwork. So classwork is where uh, all the videos, classes videos, classes notes, and the assessment will be available. We will receive in stream page also, but if you miss to see in the stream page, you can also see in the classwork tab what uh, assessments that is available, what notes that is available. OK, so uh, firstly, we have here student guidelines. As a part of APC, we uh, should go through student guidelines. I'm sure everyone have gone through. Uh, so you can, uh, whenever you forget what is the student guidelines, you can come back and uh, you can follow this uh, student guidelines. We will post the course notes in classwork. You can check. It is in the form of PDF. You can, it can be downloaded. You can download and keep it uh, with you. Then we will have lecture videos. All the lecture videos will be posted in the evening of, uh, on the same date when we will have the class. The latest one will be at the top, so you can follow. If you miss some lecture uh, uh, during 9 to 12 cl uh, class, you can come and check here, and you will get the lecture videos. Then let comes to assessment. So the assessments also will be available uh, and posted in classwork. We have uh, posted two assessment. We will go through all these two assessments. So there is assessment. Uh, uh, the faculty have posted the assessment. This could be uh, subjective or could be multiple choice, could be any kind of questions. So if faculty have posted any subjective kind of questions, how we can submit. So there is some uh, questions uh, posted here. Let uh, we uh, see how we can uh, submit our assessment. Right there, you can see your work, add or create. So this, uh, this question is subjective, and you have to write it in the Word file. There is a two way. Either you will use Microsoft Word file, uh, type, it, uh, type in your answers, and upload in the Google Classroom. Or you can directly add your uh, Google, Google document in the platform. So the, in the right corner, you can see Add or Create. Click on Add or Create. Then go to Doc. Here, one Google Docs will be created. Click on it. And you can uh, write your notes. I have an example. I can just show that. Okay, here is your answer. And at the top, if you see, when you finish 
typing your answers everything is final you want to submit now then at the top you can see turn in please click on turn in so that it will take you to the assessment page saying one assessment will be submitted for assessment one and you have to again click on turn in and it will show now some one button unsubmit that means it is already submitted and this button shows that if you hit this unsubmit button it will be unsubmit if you uh, feel like you have to make some changes before faculty marked it you can unsubmit and you can change whatever you want to change and you can sum turn in make sure this has to be done before faculty give you the remarks after faculty give you remarks you cannot make any changes so when you come to google classroom it all required the internet if in case we have uh, not a proper internet with us what we can do we can have we can type our answers in a word document i have made ready one word document i will save this in my system this doesn't require internet you can save and you can upload the word document file add attachment file upload browser check for the file or folder where you have saved your assessment document please select the word document and open and it will be submitted and you have make sure the turn in you, you will click on turn in if you miss to click on turn in it will show that you have not yet submitted the assessment i hope everyone got yes in phone also you can do it uh, so in phone mode you will get add and create just below the assessment page where the assessment mm -hmm. is posted I hope that's clear. Then we will see uh, another kind of assessment that we uh, we may get like uh, quiz kind of questions. So that will be posted in Google, uh, classroom page, classwork page. That could be kind of Google form. So. firstly we have to give our gmail id the one we are using to log in into the classroom make sure we will give this you we will use the same gmail id throughout the semester then go to the next we will have couple of questions it could be check boxes it could be multiple choice it could be a drop down it could be the text box questions so we can identify 
which are check boxes which are multiple questions so uh, if you see in on the screen there are some questions so first question and second questions is uh, the boxes are check box questions so when we say check boxes there are there is um, the question which has one or more than answers so you have to select one or more answers let uh, let me select one or more answers then uh, next we can see these are the multiple choice questions so multiple choice questions where we will have only one answer so we can only select one answer here so please don't get confused when it says check boxes and multiple choice so we can have some kind of uh, multiple and drop down we can select the right answer and please don't forget to click on submit button if you uh, select all the answers and not you have not yet click on submit button it will not be submitted you can see your score as well right after submitting the the um, assessment oops i got zero point congratulations thank you so uh, you can see all the wrong answers all the right answers your score at the top uh, so it will be available the google form questions uh, answer and the scores will be available right after you submit the uh, assessment but for the subjective questions uh, it will be available after due date i hope uh, we are clear here we have some a few questions on chat yeah daniel oliver asking a uh, meeting link is mostly same only so for some courses we have same meet link and few courses will uh, will change the link Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, Dainti uh, Paul has have raised your hand. Do you have any questions? we will come to the second session and we will take questions how to enter class code once you log in into the google, uh, google classroom you will see on the right top i will just show you how to add the classes yeah um right at the top you can see the plus button there will be a join class you can click on join class and enter the class code the class codes are available in schedule
i hope that it's clear so right now we went through all the stream um, page what we will get in stream page we will have notification we will have all the announcement for the classes and in class work we will have some assessments lecture videos course material uh, student guidelines and in people you can see uh, the faculty who faculty uh, faculty's name and your classmate as well when we go to stream page we have something called upcoming so right now there is no notification for upcoming because we have already submitted the assessment if you we would not have submitted the assessment it will show you due date is uh, sunday or due date is on monday i can show you that as well Uh, so i uh, we once we submit the assessment you will uh, you cannot see that you have any due date yeah once you submit all the assessment you cannot see any upcoming uh, notification uh, but uh, if you have not submitted the assessment and you have assigned the assessment then you can see some date saying the due date is assessment 1 due date is on monday or assessment 2 the due date is on tuesday something like that yeah i think we are uh, clear uh, with google classroom how to we yeah so upcoming uh, notification only for the assessment if any assessment is assigned any time it will pop up there saying the assessment 1 uh, or assessment 2 is uh, having the due date on 29 november something yes any question now we have a few more minutes any questions from uh, google online classes john um, yeah so this is a demo uh, assessment so that's why we just put august 11 or um, for both the assessment we may have um, same date for uh, both assessment or we may have uh, different due dates for the assessment yeah you get uh... so this is just a demo class so somebody our um, 
faculty just removed from the class. That's why you received the notification. Um, uh, but for the courses, we uh, we uh, we should not do that. We will make sure every students are uh, in the class uh, classroom. So Bhagya Lakshmi asked once I have put class code, there is no putting again and again. So for one class code, we can enter once. Uh, then to enter the another enter the code for another course, we can. Uh, again, uh, click on join button and we use other, other class code to get into the other course. Uh, Deepak Kumar, there is no assessment showing in queue. So right now, uh, in the live classes, we will not see any classes or uh, any assessment in the queue. Ma'am, can we have access all lecture video? Yes, you will have the access for all lecture video. Uh, once the classes will start, uh, the lecture videos will be uploaded on the classwork tab. Any questions? Uh, from in-person students. Any doubt? Thank you. So how to know our attendance? This is for in, uh, in online students. So the attendance uh, will be, um, we will be posting attendance um, half yearly. So in the semester, we will uh, send out the attendance detail uh, twice. I hope this answers. Any co question from in-house? Yeah. Okay, so here we have one question from uh, in, in person that um, suppose we have one class nine to uh, nine to 10, then after that we have class uh, for other course. So how can I join the other class? So once we finish one class of nine to 10, then we in the dashboard, we can go back. No need to uh, log out from our main account. We can go to the dashboard and we will sel select the course, whatever the course is scheduled for 10 to 11 time. We can go to the dashboard of that course 
and we will get the link in the stream page and we can join the class from the stream page. There are a few questions from online. Uh, if we have a network problem in our end, will our attendance be recorded? So yes, if uh, there is uh, uh, any network uh, problem, if you logged out from the class, uh, the class will the class timing will be recorded till you attended. Again, when you rejoin, the timing will be calculated from that moment. So it will be some, uh, and it will be added together for that day. Should we have to complete this demo assignment as well? So this uh, demo assessment is just for the example. So you don't need to uh, complete the demo assessment. Kindly let me know if I need to take leave due to function at home for two or three days. What is the process? So you can uh, write to uh, admin uh, to, to get the permission for the leave. They will get back to you. Yes, Daniel, if um, you rejoin for the some reason you are disconnected from the class, you can rejoin and continue the class. Yes, the online classes will be 9 to uh, 12 p.m. including a 10 minutes break. Thank you. Yeah. So I think uh, we all are clear and uh, the session that we thought to have for the second um, second session, uh, the Q&A Q session. So we have already done the Q&A session here. We can have the practical session in the second hour. We can pause the class for now and we will be back at 10. Thank you.